Welcome to our lecture online. As a quick reminder, what do we do when we're multiplying radicals together, but inside the radicals we have negative numbers? We have to turn those into imaginary numbers. So that means that this can be written as the square root of negative 2, or I should say the square root of a positive 2, times the square root of a negative 1, times the square root of 3, times the square root of negative 1. In other words, we took the negative 2 and wrote it as a 2 times a negative 1 and the negative 3 as a 3 times a negative 1. Then we realize that the, by definition the square root of negative 1, that's equal to i. So that means that this can be written as the square root of 2 times i times the square root of 3 times i. And now we're ready to multiply because now when we multiply, we multiply these two together. That is equal to the square root of 2 times 3 times i times i, which is i squared. Now, of course, i squared is a negative 1, so this becomes negative times the square root of 6, and that will then be the final result of that product. So notice, hmm, normally, if, if you do it the wrong way, if you say, if this is equal to the square root of negative 2 times negative 3, well, that is not the case, because then you end up with the square root of a positive 6, which is not the correct answer. So notice, don't do it like this, do it like this. Break out the square root of negative 1, then turn those into i's, then when you multiply, i squared gives you negative 1, and therefore you get a negative square root of 6. And that is how it's done correctly.